my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another advent calendar unboxing. If you're new here, I'm Chloe, I'm otherwise known as Lady Writes. Can I ask though, if that's you and you've not been to my channel before, that right now before we go any further into the video, you click subscribe and you ring the bell. That is the only way of being notified when my next advent calendar unboxing goes live because it will land directly in your inbox when I upload it so you won't miss a single video and trust me there's some really fun ones still to come. If you did not also know I have a dedicated beauty advent calendar website that I update almost every single day. Contents list, release dates, discount codes, anything like that that I can possibly find that you won't find here on my channel you will find over on my website. I'll link it in the description box below so make sure you bookmark it and check back every day if beauty advent calendars are your thing as well. In today's video we are unboxing the Harvey Nichols beauty advent calendar for 2022. Another luxury one, I'm trying to balance out the luxury ones with some budget friendly versions this year, do some good all round ones, so I'm excited for this one. Now the details about the calendar, it costs £250 but it is worth over £1200 which is one of the highest values that we've had this year, if not the highest, I can't remember, but it's definitely up there as one of the highest values. Now it's a 25 day calendar and there are 34 products inside. So there's a lot of products in here, plus 12 of them are full size. So that's pretty good in itself as well. At the time of filming, it is currently still in stock. So I will link in the description box below if you wanna pick it up. But as with all advent calendars, they are limited edition. So once they're gone, they're gone. If you want it, be quick. I have always had messages every year when I do these calendars from people who saying, oh, I left it too long and it sold out. Don't be one of those. So I'll link in the description box if this is the calendar for you. But other than that, I know you're here to see what's inside. I'm here to see what's inside. So let's dive right into the unboxing. So this is what the calendar looks like inside. I'm gonna have to say it because I'm always honest. It reminds me of last year or the year before's John Lewis advent calendar. It definitely looks very similar. Um, obviously it's not, but it just looks very similar. Let's start with day number one. Okay, so this is cute. We've got like a card in there. Love this. It says Fenty Beauty, the whole shebang color masterclass. So you get a 45 minute step by step from a Fenty Beauty artist and it's got the number to call to book on the back. That's a nice little touch in there as well. We've got the Gloss Bomb, the Universal Lip Illuminizer in Fussy. I love the Fenty Gloss Bombs. They are so beautiful. Um, I don't have this shade, but I have one very similar and they're so beautiful and they're non-sticky. This is obviously full size as well, guys. It's like a pink tone with a shimmer in there. So my perfect kind of gloss, non-sticky, stays on, nice little bit of color in there, but not too much. So perfect for every day and it's Fenty Beauty. Down here today, number two. Oh yay, we've actually got some more. Now this makes me so happy. I'm gonna tell you why. Because this is the Le Mer Moisturizing Cream. Now I got this same size in the Space NK Advent Calendar, which has been one of my top fives this year. I've used that little pot every day, literally morning and night since I got it and it's nearly run out and I was like, oh my gosh, the actual full size is over a hundred pounds. How am I gonna do that? So now I've got a top up, literally I'm probably about two days from running out. So it's like, it's like Harvey Nichols heard me and we're like, here you go, Chloe, here's your face fixed. So I love that. Obviously this is super, super premium. This is the seven mil guys. Day number three. And we've got a couple in here. We have got some fragrance. So we've got the M plus, this is the molecule, molecule, molecule plus one with iris. Um, now the molecule fragrances, basically you can smell them for like 30 seconds and then you put them on and you can't smell them anymore. And usually people are like, oh, the perfume's not very strong, but it's a specific type of perfume that works with your skin's natural pH balance. So it makes you smell like ultra sexy with your own body's natural pheromones. It's really cool. Um, I actually got one of their M plus um, patchouli ones up up here and I absolutely love it, it's gorgeous. I've not tried the one with Iris, so I'm intrigued. And then we've also got the Serge Luton's Eau de Parfum 5 mil. So the Molecule one is a, I think it's a 10, it's a 7.5, so small. And then we've got the five mil little tester of that perfume, but I like that they've put two fragrances in one there. Day number four. And in here we have got some of the Perfumes de Mali, um, Delina Bougie Perfume Candle. I think I've had a hand cream or something like that from this brand before and it's like real premium. Oh, that's very rose based, very rose. I'm not a big rose scent fan, unless it's got rose with something else. And it is a very little size, but if you like rose, I think you'd love that because that's pretty much the whole scent note there is a rose candle. Let's look in day five. Oh, okay. So we've got quite a lot in here. So we have got a Dermalogica. This is a customizable treatment using tech design to focus specifically on your skin's needs. And then an Environ targeted treatment to improve the appearance of volume loss or fine lines. So we've got two products in here. We've got the Environ Youth Focus Care Revive Mask. 
that sounds right up my street. It's an anti-aging mask for adding some glow, working to combat fine lines and wrinkles. It says use twice per week for 10 to 20 minutes and rinse before applying your recommended moisturizer. And then the Daily Microfoliant from um, Dermalogica, which is one of those cult products. I've actually tried their new version, which has got like oat in it as well. It's really lovely. I've used this so many times over the years. It's a powder, you mix it with a tiny bit of water and it turns to a paste. And it's a great way of exfoliating your skin and gentle enough for sensitive skin. So I like that we've got both of those premium ones in one drawer plus the two treatments as well. Up here today, number six. And we've got the Aqua de Palma Latte Pearl Corpo a la Colonia Body Lotion. I think we've had this in another calendar. Oh, it's beautiful. Very, very sexy, very masculine, but also a woman could wear that. Like it is super sexy. Obviously body lotion is more of a watery texture than a cream. So great when you get out of the shower or the bath just for like helping with any dryness. And it is so strongly scented with the um, Aqua de Palma scent in there. It's beautiful. I do really like it. And size wise, that is 75 mil. Up here today, number seven now. And in here we've got some OPI nail lacquer. This is the shade, where is it? Happy anniversary. It's very sparkly, very white. It's like perfect perfect for Christmas. It's like the perfect Christmas white nail. It's like white with like shimmery diamante in there. It's beautiful. It's full size again. Um, I obviously get my nails done, but I do love painting my toes and making them super festive at Christmas. So I like that. And you can't go wrong with a bit of opi, right? Time for day number eight now. And in here we've got the Neom um, Bedtime Hero Pillow Mist. This is the full size. Obviously we've had this again a few times this year, but it's lovely. Now I'm going to say this, and I say this about all of my pillow sprays in all of my videos. If you want to get the most out of it, spray it on your pillow, your duvet and on your curtains, open the window just a little bit, leave the room, the air should nicely circulate and then when you come back into the room five or ten minutes later the whole room should have the same scent so it's a way of like amplifying the effects to help get you to sleep quicker and to sleep deeper when you finally do go to sleep and size wise this is a 30 mil. Time for day nine now. Okay we have got two Caroline Herrera, these are the Fabulous Kiss of Sheer Lipsticks and a Satin one. So we've got Sheer 171, Rosy Date and 310 Carolina. Now obviously these ones come on cute little keychains. I've had them before and they are absolutely adorable. That one is beautifully red. I love that. And then this one is black and spotty and a beautiful rosy pink. So we've got two great little colours there. Obviously these lipsticks are premium and pricey when you buy the full size. Um, but these little like keychains mean you can like hook them onto your actual keychain or your handbag or anything like that. So they are a little bit cute. Let's have a look in day 10. And in here we've got the Rowan Cake Lash Mascara in black not tried this takes a lot to impress me with a good mascara but I am a bit of a mascara snob and I can admit that so I'm all right with that now this one I haven't tried so I'm very excited to see how it works I expect volume and lift I don't want it to rub underneath my eyes I want it to come off easily at the end of the day I expect a lot but I'm prepared to pay for premium mascaras if they do everything I want so fingers crossed with this one day number 11 and in here we've got two from Esper. We've got the Triactive Regenerating Calming Cleansing Balm. Used a lot of cleansing balms and I love Esper, but I've not actually used that one. And then the Triactive Regenerating Plumping Mask. Sounds perfect for me. I love a good anti-aging mask. Obviously we've got the Enviro on there as well, both masks, so we can use those and alternate. And then a good cleansing balm as well. So it says it's a comforting balm to cleanse and soothe. So great for every day. I'm a double cleanse kind of girl. Make sure I double cleanse every single night. So this one I'll just be adding into my regime. Time for day 12. And we've got some more fragrance here. We've got the Juliet Has A Gun Lady Vengeance. That is a five mil. And then we've got the Martha. This is the Eau de Parfum Mimo. Um, and this size is a 10 mil. Okay, so we've got five and a 10 mil. Juliet Has A Gun, premium to the max. Let's have a little sniff. Oh, I like that. It's very, very sexy, very sultry, very much a me kind of scent. Now, this one says it's got rose in. As I said, I'm not the biggest rose fan. So let's have a go. Oh, it's nice. It's not too rosy. It's almost holiday-like. Smells a little bit like holiday cream. Mm, actually, I do like that. I didn't expect to, but I do. I like both of those. Now we're on to day 13. And in here, we've got the facial spray from Mario Badescu. This is the spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. So it's a calming spray. It's 59 mil. Great if you have redness or sensitive skin or your skin's just breaking out, just not doing what it should be doing. This is a great one you can use in the mornings and in the afternoons. Use it over or under makeup. I think primarily underneath when you've got bare skin, but you can use it over makeup as a fresher, like refresher through the day, but also as something that's going to kind of pick 
wake you up, add some longevity to your makeup and help it to just last a little bit longer as well as calming the skin. So that's a nice one. Day number 14 is just down here and we've got a couple in here. We've got the Dr. Barbara Sturm face cream. This is a 20 mil and the Fenty Skin Fat Water. This is the Pore Refining Toner Serum. Toner Serum, it does both of those things. It's literally a wonder like product treatment, wonder treatment product. Ugh. you know what I mean. <laughs> and this size is a 50 mil. So it says use day and night on clean skin, apply all over face with your fingers or a cotton pad. Um, and it just, that's all it says really. Um, and then we've also got this one, Dr. Barbara Sturm, premium to the max, a good face cream, great for every day, moisturizing, anti-aging, those kind of things go hand in hand with the brand, but obviously they're a scientific based skincare brand. So you can really, really count on the results that you'll see. 20 mil should last you a good amount of time. Um, both of these seem like nice products to add into your regime. You wouldn't need to replace them with anything. You could just easily slot them in. Day number 15. And in here we've got two of the MZ skin masks. We've got the vitamin in C, in C I'm reading the wrong word. Vitamin infused miso face mask, which is a soothing and hydrating face mask. And then we've got the anti-pollution illuminating eye masks, which go under underneath the eye so you can kind of use them together which sounds perfect for a little pamper obviously single use but mz skin their masks are lovely i've used a couple so far this advent season and been really impressed now the under eye ones are detoxifying and brightening which i need for my dark under eye bag so i'll be trying those first let's have a look in day 16 in here we have got the la perla oh it's the possibilities perfume so oh that's very very nice Feel like I've smelt that on someone. La Perla is obviously premium. The bottle is very sexy. It's not floral, it's not masculine, it's very everyday. I do quite like that, but I feel like someone I know wears that because it is literally bringing back like some sort of smell memory, I think, but that's quite a nice one. And size wise, 12 mil. Day number 17. And in here we have got the Uoma Cleopatra ink, better than black y'all. So it's a black felt liner, eyeliner. Now, actually that is a very pointed nib. I've never seen one that thin. That will really, really help with creating a great winged liner. It's obviously full size. I use this brand for their concealer, for contouring right now. I love them. I've had a couple of their lipsticks, really good quality. I have no complaints about this brand. So I love that we've got some in here. Let's have a look day 18. Oh wow, we've got a fair few here. We've got the La Prairie Art of Beauty. We've got a 45 minute facial, which sounds amazing. We've got the CEO Glow from Sunday Riley. This is a lovely face oil for adding lots of vitamin C into your regime. It's going to brighten the skin, brighten the complexion, add some radiance just naturally to the skin. Come December when you're opening your calendars, when our skin is looking a little bit dull and lacklustre, we're definitely feeling the coldness and the dark kind of evenings and things. This is a great one to add into your regime. But then the one that's really exciting me, We've got the La Prairie. This is the Lux Eye Cream, remastered with Caviar Premier. I've never used anything by La Prairie, I don't think. And oh my gosh, it's like the most pricey brand I've ever found in my life. Like, oh, I can't wait to try this. I've obviously got the La Mer face cream and now the eye cream. Really like this. Time for day 19. And in here we've, oh my gosh, we've got the Revitalash. This is the eyelash conditioner, the two mil. Again, another premium one. Absolutely insane that we've got that full size. Great for repairing the health of your lashes. And naturally, you can also use it on your brows if you want to, but thumbs up for that as well. Time for day 20. Oh wow, we've got some hourglass in here. This is the luminous bronze light. It's like a bronzer and a highlighter. But the hourglass highlighters are not like a highlighter you've ever used before. They're more like a radiance powder. So you only need a fine amount. It makes the complexion look more radiant, but you can use it all over your face so it's not like glittery. I use it every day as someone with oily skin. I want my skin to look radiant and a little bit like healthy, but I can't use too much highlighter. So a lot of their products are really good for that. I don't have this one. I have so many, but I love this. This is obviously like the half size, but these are still really pricey on their own. So I like that. 21 now. We've got the Augustinus Baudet, the face oil. This is the 10 mil. Now we've had Augustinus Baudet in a lot of our luxury calendars, if not all of them. Um, but a lot of the times we're getting the face cream, which is the obviously still premium and still expensive but the oil is slightly more expensive. Now this is a 10 mil, so it's not the full size, but it is a beautiful, luxurious oil that you can use every day, soaks into the skin. I have loved using this brand. I was so nicely stocked up from last year's advent calendars. Like it literally, it's one of those products. I've all, I do kind of swap it in and out, but I always go back to it. I love to use it. My skin drinks it up. It feels super luxe as well. So that is another really good one to find in this calendar. Day number 22 now. And in here we have got the 
Over and Bath Oil, this is, I wanna say it's a full size because it's absolutely massive, but it's a 60 mil. It's a great bath oil. I've had lots of little testers of this over the last year in various places and really like it. It's very relaxing. It smells gorgeous. It's a really great way of adding some fragrance to your bath that sticks to the skin. It's not over like over intense. It's not too strong. It's beautiful and it's really relaxing as well. So that's very handy come December when I'll be having a lot more baths. Day number 23. And in here we have got the Sarah Chapman Skinesis Intense hydrating booster this is 30 ml it's a moisturizing serum absolutely fantastic obviously Sarah Chapman are a spa brand so you can count on their products now this one is great as one of the final stages in your skincare regime it's specifically targeted to add moisture so it's going to be great for dry skin or dehydrated skin but also good for anti-aging because making sure that your skin has enough moisture plumps the fine lines and wrinkles so they don't look as deep so that's a great all-rounder I think day number 24 Oh, we've got some Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Eyes to Mesmerize in Chocolate Bronze. It is one of the eyeshadow pots. Beautiful shade, so workable, I love that. These are really easy for making a whole eye look. You just pop it all over your lid and blend into the crease. You don't even have to do any more than that and you've got a whole eye look, they're lovely. They're a really nice texture. I've got them in multiple colors and I love them. I did have to throw a few away because they were a bit old when I moved house. So I'm a little bit like, mm, but now I've found one I can start rebuilding my collection and again, a full size. Okay, day 25. What what have we, I was gonna say what have we got, but now I'm so excited. I may pee my pants, I'm so excited. We have got, oh wow. We've got the Baccarat Rouge 540. We've got the Eau de Parfum and the Extrait de Parfum. I don't know, is that like the hair one? I don't know, but we've got two. We've got one of each and this is my favorite perfume. I've never been able to afford the full size because it's like nearly 300 pounds. It's a lot, but it is the most gorgeous scent ever. I love that they've ended the calendar on these. Obviously the sizes are small, but let's be honest, you're not gonna get like the full size in a calendar, are you? But, oh, I can't wait to wear this. Oh, I'm gonna use it so quick because I've dropped the box. It's just the best scent ever. I am so happy right now. So guys, there we have it. That is the Harvey Nichols Beauty Advent Calendar for 2022 completely unboxed. What do you guys think about this one? Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. I am really curious to hear them on this one. Now, my thoughts are this. The products in this calendar have blown me away. We've got two Baccarat Rouge perfumes. Now, I've just found out that the x is like the more intense version. So we've got two of those. Now, the products themselves have blown me away. Now, some of them are very small. There's a lot of small products in here, but what I'm counteracting them with is the fact that we've got things like La Prairie, we've got La Mer, we've got Caroline Herrera, we've got Baccarat Rouge. Like, we're not gonna get full sizes of that in our calendars. I really like the variation in here. I love that there's so much fragrance. It's amazing. We don't find that too often in our calendars. We get one, maybe two. I love that there's so much in here. I love the Molecule one as well. We've got some of my favorite brands. We've got Hourglass, Environ. I've had facials of theirs at the salon before. Really like them. Demologica are amazing. I can't wait to try the La Prairie. I love the La Mer. We've got Fenty, Esper. Yes, the sizes are on the small size, but there is so much in this calendar with 34 products there's so much like for me i really like this one yes i would have liked some of the products to be bigger i'm gonna say that however i think when i compare it to some of the other luxury calendars that i've unboxed this year i just love the variation in this one the brands in there are right up my street it's got some of my favorites for me this is a great one as long as you don't mind that some of the products are on the small side i feel like this is a really great one and one that you may have overlooked so i'm really glad that i've had this one and i've unboxed it because i am very pleasantly surprised as mentioned guys it is currently in stock so I will link it in the description box below if you want to pick it up obviously be quick I still can't quite remember if it's the highest value that we've opened if not it's definitely up there like as like the second maybe highest if not the highest 1200 pounds worth of products in this calendar is a huge thumbs up from me so I highly recommend it if you're looking for a luxury calendar that you want to treat yourself to this year other than that guys thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and I will look forward to seeing you very soon for my next one bye